federal tax incentives and tax equity. I, I apologize that this is uh, uh, too much of a primer, but I'll try to make it quick. Um, so there are two primary federal incentives available to uh, renewable energy projects. The first is investment tax credits, production tax credits, and the second is accelerated depreciation benefits. Um, and those two combined form a really powerful incentive in, uh, in developing renewable energy projects. The ITC, PTC, the ITC is traditionally avail uh, eligible for um, solar projects, and the PTC was traditionally el um, available to wind, geothermal, and biomass projects. Um, both were intended to represent about 30% of the capital expenditures and, uh, and provide that type of incentive. Through the economic stimulus of 2009, the ITC uh, was made available to all renewable energy technologies um, for a period of years. Um, through the uh, accelerated depreciation, uh, it's primarily through a five-year maker's schedule, modified accelerated cost recovery system. There is bonus depreciation that has been available in recent past and is currently set at 100% for, for all investment through um, the end of this year and will scale back to a 50% level for uh, renewable energy projects um, through the, the remainder of 2012. Um, so those uh, and those capabilities are, uh, um, are or, or those incentive uh, offerings are, are can be modeled in SAM in the new version of SAM. Together, the ITC, PTC, and accelerated depreciation um, can provide back to the investors about 50% of a project's capital investment. So, really, a powerful incentive structure. Um, that is uh, quite important to renewable energy deployment. However, there's a major problem in that most renewable energy projects or their developers don't have sufficient taxable income, aka tax appetite, to, uh, to fully utilize those benefits. And without that tax appetite, um, either the tax incentives would have to be carried forward for an indefinite number of years or, uh, or or simply given up, and that greatly reduces the um, the value of those tax incentives. Um, also, the credits and depreciation benefits have to be claimed by an owner, and something that represents really a true owner, not not a um, uh, not a creditor, uh, but someone who takes risk in the project. And uh, the benefits are non-refundable and, and non-transferable. So the that type of structure really causes the need for what we call tax equity and investment by uh, a tax investor who can make use of those tax incentives. Um, so currently there's really a very small pool of tax equity investors, perhaps a dozen entities or, or more, um, really like the top investment banks and insurance companies, which are referred to as institutional investors. It's not really any um, anybody with taxable income because of the nature of renewable energy projects um, that the tax appetite is really required for a period of uh, up to six years to take full advantage of the depreciation benefits. Five-year makers really last six years. Um, and the complexity of the project structure, as, as we'll see in a minute, how complex these things can be. Um, and the wide array of, of risks perceived in, in these deals, the technology risk, the developer risk, um, and whether they're going to be around for an extended period of time, the off-taker, who's, who's taking the power, whether it's a utility or a commercial entity, um, and their credit rating and the contract duration associated with um, uh, with these entities that are taking the power um, and the risk that they will or will not be there in, in 10, 20 years. Uh, there's also regulatory risk, um, whether the regulators can, can alter the PPA contract, the price of the terms in some way, um, as well as site access. So all those risks 
are taken into consideration in, in developing these deals and really limit uh, the number of tax equity investors that, that are willing to participate in, in these types of structures. Um, as you likely know, the cash grant um, was a great boon for renewable energy projects up till now, um, but there's still a need for tax equity. There still is a, a, a tax appetite. Um, the, the grant was made available through um, through ARA, um, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, after after the tax equity market dried up in 2009, Congress enacted that law to, to create the grant program. Um, the the grant it reduces the tax appetite, but it still uh, doesn't cut it away completely. There's still a need to monetize depreciation benefits, and there's still really a need to bridge the cash flows. Um, until the grant is received. Um, but if, if you're interested in uh, simulating the grant and how it impacts your project, probably the best way to do that is through investment-based incentive um, on uh, one of the tabs. I'll, I'll take you through that on a, in the walkthrough. Um, 